Hi, and welcome to Clapier. This video will show you how to create apps using Clapier. But before we get started, let me help you understand what Clapier is all about. It is a no-code platform for making applications and is especially useful in internal business processes. For example, you can create attendance trackers, task management systems, inventory management apps, CRMs, and much more. The best part is that it is simple to use and you can create it in four simple steps. The first step is using the pre-coded blocks that you can choose and customize according to your requirements. The second step is setting the workflow of your app. If you need to send out notifications, alerts, or maybe set approvals, you can set such rules. The next step is configuring your dashboards. You can have charts for analysis and automated reports to send data on a timely basis. The final step is seeing your app in an instant. When you finish creating or editing your app, it instantly becomes live and ready to use, either on the web or on the mobile version. You can download the Clapier app via Play Store or App Store and be ready to use once you open it. Now, let's go ahead and see how to start building your apps. If you haven't signed up to Clapier yet, you can do so by clicking on the button over here on the website. Once you sign up, your workplace will get created. For example, mine says xyzcompany.clapier.com. You can give your company name or your own preference. Anytime you sign in, you will be redirected to your dashboard, which will look like this. Here, all the apps you create will reside. Let's get started in creating an app. First, click on New App. You will be taken to the Design View where you can create, design, or edit your app. I will take a simple example of an app that will cover important features in Clapier. So, say for example, I have field officers going for site visits. I need to capture some information. First thing I will do is to give a name to this app over here. I will name it Field Order. Next, I will click on Add Section. And for this section, I can give a name on the right-hand panel under Section Name. So, say Customer Details. When I click on Save, the section has been named. You can add more sections to your app by clicking on Add Section. Now, in this section, I need to collect certain information like customer name, address, and so on. For that, I will need to add fields. Clapier has sufficient pre-coded blocks for your use cases. When you click on Add Field, you get the various pre-coded blocks that you can use to capture data for your app. For a more detailed look into the configuration of each of these blocks, you can check out our other videos for each of them on our YouTube channel. You can use the single line text block, very useful for capturing short text or information such as customer name. And every block can be configured on the right hand panel over here. I'll change the label to customer name. I can also make fields in my app a compulsory field to collect data by enabling this option required. Required fields are denoted by a red star mark. Always make sure to save your configurations. I can add a field to capture the customer's address using the address block. Use a drop down where you can select a certain option from a list of options like the type of visit is to an individual or a business. These options should be mentioned one after the other. Similar to the drop down, you will get the single selector block and multiple selector block. I could add more blocks to capture customer information like email or phone number, etc. As I mentioned, you can add more sections. So I will add one to capture visit details. Just like before, I will name it on the right panel. And again, add some fields related to it. I can add the date block to capture the date of the visit, time block to capture the time automatically. Next, we have a very useful feature, which is the code scanner block. This code scanner block can scan both QR codes as well as barcodes. Now, coming to some interesting features that you can add to your app, which is the camera image and files block. This block is useful for uploading images, videos, or some documents. You can also take photos in real time. I name this to take photo. You can see allowed file types. When I click on this, you can see the different file types you can upload. So if I want to only take a photo in real time, I can select this option. I'll go to the advanced tab. You can save live camera uploads to gallery. You can set the number of files that can be uploaded in an app, set the image quality and so on. Every block has advanced options that you can configure if you need it. Next, we have the GPS location block, one of the most sought after features. This GPS location block is very useful if you want to capture the location at which a user is submitting information. You can prevent someone from changing the location when it automatically captures their current location or go for geofencing. So if a person is at a certain distance away from the site location, maybe say 100 meters away, and you still want them to be able to submit the information, but not beyond that. Similarly, there's live tracking, useful for field teams on the move, logistics, and so on. You can also add a signature block to your app to capture signature. 
In Clapier, you can implement calculations and logic. I'll add another section called product details. I will take a simple example of calculating the total price of a product, which is price into quantity. I will add a single line text block to input the price. So I'll change the label to price and add another single line text for the quantity. For calculations, I'll select the calculations and logic block. In the space here, you can type in the formula. Now the formula is price into quantity and I want to pull values from these fields. To pull or get values from other fields, just type in at the rate and you will see all the fields added in your app. First, I'll select price. You can type the name after at the rate or make a selection here. Then multiply with quantity. So at the rate, quantity. Now this block will perform basic multiplication in the app. But it's not just basic maths. Complex formulas can be calculated. Also, most Excel formulas are supported because Clapier shares a similar library. Just that in the place of cell numbers, we use auto-generated field variables, which appears after saving every block. So you don't need to know any new language for adding complex logic and calculations. For example, if the quantity is less than 5, then the total should be 1000. Else, it should show price into quantity. Here you can see that I have used the if condition, just like in Excel. Now you can apply display conditions for your fields or sections. For example, here I added the type of visit. If the type is business, then I want to collect GST number, basically tax number. But if it's individual, then I don't need it. So first I will add another block for the GST number. Now this field should be hidden in the app unless this is selected as business. So I'll click on this block, go to advanced, and here we have display this field if, where you can give display conditions. This is available for all fields and sections. So if this field, that is at the rate type, equals to business, that's it. Till now, it's only been data collection blocks, but real apps are much more complex than just data collection. For example, you may need information from other apps that you might have created in Clapier, or you have to get information from Google Sheets, your own databases, or even from external sources. All these would typically require a bit of coding to retrieve such data. But with Clapier, it becomes simple. And for now, I'll show you how the get data from other apps block works. If you have multiple apps created in your workplace in Clapier and you want to interlink them, as in if you have certain information that you want to pull from one app into another, use this feature. I have already created another app earlier from which I want to pull information. So let me just show you that really quickly. I have a product MIS app. You can see that I have fields for SKU, product type, brand, and so on. I also have data or submissions for different products, as you can see over here. So here, first I'll name this as find product. Select the source app, which is product MIS. I want to find products with the SKU and brand, based on which all this information will be pulled from that app. All these fields automatically appear and are from the other app. You can also redirect users to other apps or to other websites using the action button. Use the AI block for image analysis, fraud detection and more simply by typing in your instructions over here. In case these pre-coded blocks are not sufficient, we have the code block for more complex functions. You have now created the core structure of your app. You can fine tune it further by going to configuration. You can change your app icons or set different statuses for submissions in your apps. For example, it can be approved or rejected or other statuses like in progress, pending, completed, and so on. We also have print settings where you can get PDFs. This is a very common requirement. On the right panel, click this icon to open the editor window. You can enable headers or footers. And in the main body, you can type in some text, insert images, insert tables, and you can also pull information from your app's fields by typing at the rate, followed by the field name. This print setting is very useful if you want to create email templates or maybe some checklists, work orders, purchase orders, depends on your requirements. You can also enable Google Sheets or Drive, so every submission data will get synced to your drive. Similarly, you can push data from Clapier to your databases, CRMs, ERPs, etc. And you have other options as well. Now, you can set what goes on behind the app. Workflows is important if you want to set some rules or automate the flow of your app according to your needs. 
For example, for certain submissions, if you want to send an email to a team, you can set it up on the right hand panel over here, just like a regular email. In the body of the email, you can also pull field values by typing at the rate and followed by the field name. If you want to set certain conditions, you can use the if node and again, most Excel formulas are supported. Suppose you have an inventory and the stock of a product is running low, like if quantity is less than 5 and you want to send out a notification via email to the right team or send a WhatsApp message or an SMS alert, just add the notes and set it up on the right panel. You can set up multi-level approvals for each submission. You can use the AI node again for things like image analysis. You can also add a code workflow node again for complex functions and also set API calls to get or push data to external sources. You can mix and match these nodes to automate your app. And the last part is if you want to set up analytics, you can add charts, set it up on the right panel, you can also send automated reports by clicking on add report. You can email it to a relevant team or a manager. You can set the frequency at which to send the reports. It could be daily, weekly, monthly. You can also set the time at which you want to send the reports. Your application is now ready to use. You can give access to your apps to others who need to use it by going to the distribute tab. Click on user access and on the right panel, you can invite them. You can type in the email ID or if they are added to the workplace already, then you will get a list like so. Select the person and then give them the appropriate permissions as to what they can do with the app. Clapier has a sophisticated permissions model. For example, if you want your field officers to only submit data and not make any other changes, then you can give them submitter access. You can also give them full data admin access, give them topmost access which is app admin who can create apps as well as make any kind of changes or customize their permissions. For this example, I will give this person basic submitter permission. You can see that they've been given access to this app. You can also upload multiple users at a time to give access. Now, whenever this person logs into the Clapier workplace, they will be taken to their dashboard and they will see this application that I created and gave them access to. Once they click on it, it will redirect them to App Home. At any point in time, you as an admin can always go back to the design app where you can make changes to your app and it will be reflected here in App Home instantly. Your users can start filling the app. If I select this option, the display condition comes in and this block appears as configured earlier. They can set the date, time, which can also be captured automatically, scan QR or barcodes, take live photos, only as configured, see their GPS location. If I fill in the price and quantity fields, it calculates the total price. And if you remember, I set an if condition for it to show it as 1000 if the quantity is less than 5 and it does so. Now, this is the get data from other apps block that I had added. It will pull the information from the product MIS app that I showed you earlier. When I click on it, you can see the various items that are there. You can also type in what you need. And now you can see all the details from this product pulled from the product MIS app. Click on submit to make a submission. And you can go to the submissions tab to view all submissions. Users can see submissions too, only if you have given them the access or permissions for it. You can open a submission to view all the details. You can change the status and this can also trigger workflow rules like sending an email notification if you have configured it in your workflows. Then open your PDF and all standard options like advanced search and filtering or downloading data or bulk uploading or editing data are available. You can also view this app on the mobile version as well. Once you create your app, it will be ready to use instantly on the mobile version. Simply download the Clapier app either on Play Store or App Store, log in and your users will see the apps assigned to them. There is no extra setup for using mobile apps except to download it once and log in. They can visit the app and start to fill in the details exactly like in the web app. I can fill in the name, date, time, scan a code, display the hidden field if this option is selected, take a live photo from my mobile camera, perform calculations and fetch data from the other apps and submit. View all your submissions by clicking on view submissions on your mobile app. And you can also see the previous submission that I made on the web app. Your mobile apps can be private labeled. The mobile apps also works without internet connection. The data gets stored locally and once the internet connection is back, the data gets synced automatically in the background. 
For any blog that you are stuck on, you can always click on the more section on this left panel and go to the help guide over here. You can see this icon over here. This is also available on every blog's right hand panel at the top. Just click on the link and it will redirect you to the help guide. We also have something called app templates where you can search from a list of templates that are readily available. When you click on it, you can import a template and then you can configure those templates as per your requirements. So this is how you create apps in Clapier. If you have any questions regarding the configuration of your apps or any features in Clapier, you can always request support by clicking on the button over here at the top. Select an option and Clapier Solutions and support team will get in touch. Thank you.